Hi, everyone. Welcome to uh, lesson three of unit five, uh, gas, gas stoichiometry. Uh, this will be the last lesson of the year. Congratulations on sticking with it if you're still with me um, in this lesson. Um, and uh, I think you'll be well prepared for the grade 12 course. And essentially, this is going to be a very short lesson because um, we are going to do uh, everything uh, that we've already done before, but we're going to be doing it with gases. And, and really, it, it adds one uh, new calculation uh, that uh, you can use the formula uh, PV equals NRT, and you can isolate the number of moles. And so N is equal to PV over RT. So we've got an, you know, we've we've always got those other formulas. N is equal to little m over capital M. We've got N is equal to uh, capital N over NA, and we've got N is equal to C times V. So we've now got four different ways of calculating our moles depending on the um, the form that we're given in the question. So just as a review, um, here are the steps to solving stoichiometry, quest stoichiometry questions. Uh, write the balanced equation, uh, write down the information, convert everything to moles, uh, do, a, do ratios, mole ratios, and then convert back to whatever is required. So those are the same steps that we've always done. So here we go. Here's a question. It says if uh, 3.5 grams of potassium chlorate are decomposed, in other words, it's a decomposition reaction, what volume of oxygen gas is collected if the temperature is 30 degrees Celsius and the pressure is 100.5 kPa? Beautiful. Here we go. Step number one of stoichiometry says you write a balanced equation. So potassium chlorate, KClO3, it says it decomposes, um, and so we know one of the things produced is oxygen gas, okay? So the other thing must be potassium chloride, okay? Um, and now let's, uh, if that's a gas, let's just say that we get a solid, and this was a solid. Um, now we need to balance this equation. Uh, so if we put a 2 out front here, um, I'll put a 3 out front there and a 2 there. There we go. Okay, so we've got the balance equation. Write down what you've been given. So we've got a mass here of 3.5 grams, and they want us to calculate the volume of oxygen gas produced. Step number one of stoichiometry is done. Uh, step number two is to convert to moles. So here we've been given a mass, so N is equal to little m over big M. So it's the 3.5 grams divided by, now we go to our periodic table and we calculate the molar mass of KClO3. And when we do that, we get 122.5 uh, okay? Uh, which converts to, when we divide that, we get 0 0.0286 moles, okay? Step number two of stoichiometry is done. We've converted to moles, okay? Step number three of stoichiometry is a mole ratio. A mole ratio. So we're interested in the ratio of KClO3 to O2, and it's a 2 to 3 ratio. You get that from your balanced equation. Okay, so it's 0 0.0286 to X. Cross multiply, solve for X, and you get an X there of uh, three times 0 0.0286 uh, divided by two equals 0 0.0429 moles, okay? Uh, step number four is to convert back. So in this case, we're solving for volume. 
Now it's the volume of a gas, so we know that PV equals nRT, so V is equal to nRT over P. So the number of moles we calculated was 0 0.0429 um, times 8.314 times the temperature. It says 30 degrees, but we've got to convert that to Kelvin. Um, so it's going to be 273.15 plus 30 is 303. 0.15 Kelvin. I'll just show that. Uh, I'm going to come up here with that and I'm going to say 30 plus 273.15 is 303.15 Kelvin. And then we definitely use KPA, so I'll divide by the 100, 100 point five. KPA, and let's see what we get. Uh, 0 0.0429 times 8.314 times 303.15 divided by 100.5, and you get uh, 1.075, or roughly 1.1 leaders. Okay, um, that's it. That's all you needed for this one. That was an extremely short lesson. Um, try a couple of these questions. Like these are, uh, you know, I'm going to recommend here. Um, there you go. This one's 30. Um, it's going to be a limiting reactant question because look at this. You're given an amount of hydrogen gas in grams but also an amount of chlorine gas in liters. So you can convert those both uh, to moles at STP. Um, it'll be um, H2 plus uh, Cl2 makes HCl, and you'll need a 2HCl. So here in this case, you'll have, uh, you can be able, you can, the mass here was 0.72 grams. The volume here was eight liters. And because it's at STP, you know that uh, the temperature is zero degrees Celsius or 273.15 Kelvin. You know the pressure is 101.3 kPa. So you can convert this to moles, convert this to moles. Um, because there's a one out front of both, basically whichever one of those is the smallest is your limiting, and then use that to uh, move over to the other side and calculate um the volume there okay so that's a great one to try um here you go you could try um you could certainly try 33 so those are good examples of these ones um so that's it um i'll have a small uh optional assignment i'll post that uh the next day and uh, the answers to your homework questions are here let me know if you have any questions take care you guys and have a great summer